Paint Draining Analysis Project Proposal by Yaneli Cantu, Pablo Guerrero, Alejandra Gutierrez, Anne Nguyen, Adriana Moron, and Miguel Cepeda. Abstract. To validate the theoretical analysis of water draining time in the design tank. To illustrate the need of experimentation to validate theoretical results. To compare the theoretical draining time versus the experimental draining time. Introduction. Drainage of a liquid initially residing in a container is a common process found in many practical applications. The time required to empty the liquid content from the tank is important under emergency situations as well from productivity point of view. Learn the application of the conservation of mass and mechanical energy. Analytical analysis and engineering simplifications can be compared to the experimental results. The analysis is to determine the time it takes to completely drain a cylinder tank with a short protruding tube in the bottom. In order to get this time value, we apply a series of assumptions to simplify the fluid system. These assumptions are fluid has to be quasi steady state, incompressible, and viscid, and it has to be a long streamline. Then we compare the theoretical drain time to the experimentally obtained drain time. This figure shows a cylindrical tank we will work with. A1 means the cross sectional area at point 0.1, B1 means the velocity at point 0.1. At t equals 0, velocity also will be 0. Height of the water will be constant at first, then it changes with respect of time. Height is a function of time. Methodology. Materials. Two liter soda bottle with the bottom already cut out. This will be used to hold the fluid. A 7 8 inch rubber stopper will be used to plug the orifice to keep the fluid from flowing out. The 1 kilogram weight will be used as a force to pull the plug for the fluid to flow. Using a string of designated length, tie one end to the stopper and the other to the weight. A 500 milliliter graduated cylinder will be used to measure the desired amount of fluid. The bottle will be inserted in the rubber gasket on the stand for stability. Lastly, a stopwatch will be used to record the time it takes for the fluid to drain out of the bottle. Experimental Procedure Cut a piece of string to a length between 15 and 35 centimeters. Using this string, tie one end to the weight and the other to the rubber stopper. The rubber stopper will then be placed in the orifice side of the bottle. Ensure the stopper is in firmly or it will be pulled off by the hanging weight once on the stand. Once the stopper is in, place the bottle and the weight into the rubber gasket on the stand, inserting the weight first and then the bottle. This gasket will hold the bottle firmly in order to eliminate any movement and external forces. Once in place, using the graduated cylinder, fill the bottle with the amount of fluid to be tested. This bottle can test a maximum capacity of 1.8 liters. At this time, record the height at which the fluid is at and get the stopwatch ready to record the time it takes to empty. With the fluid in the bottle, lift the hanging weight slightly to release some tension in the string. Release the weight straight down. This will remove the stopper and allow the fluid to start flowing and time to be recorded. Repeat steps three to six until a minimum of six trials are recorded. Based on the assumptions made in the conservation of mass and conservation of mechanical energy, the theoretical drain time is calculated. Complete derivation of the theoretical drain time will be presented later in Appendix Predictions of the time are calculated theoretically based on the height of the water inside the tank. Table 1 shows the theoretical values of the draining time with different initial volumes and heights of water. For volume of 0.5 liters, we have a height of 10.6 centimeters and a draining time of 5.34 seconds. For a volume of 1 liter, we have a height of 15.9 centimeters and a draining time of 6.54. For a volume of 1.5 liters, we have a height of 21.4 centimeters and a draining time of 7.59 seconds. 
and for a volume of 1.8, the height is 25.1 centimeters with a draining time of 8.22 seconds. It is estimated that one might encounter an uncertainty of 25% in the experimental draining time. Appendix A is the derivation of tank draining time. The following assumptions are made to simplify the system. The tank is modeled as a cylinder. The water is initially at a steady state in the tank. However, during the, during the draining process, water flow is inviscid, incompressible, and follow a streamline. The water draining at this time will also have a, a velocity that is approximately dhdt, which is the change in height of the change in time. Because V1 is assumed to be much less than V2, the system is at quasi-steady state and the um, analysis can be done. Since the, ex the exit nozzle is shorter than the total height of the tank, friction loss due to the pipe length can be neglected. There are no work or heat added to the tank and the area of the exit is, is smaller than the area of the tank or the cross-sectional area of the tank. The tank opens at atmospheric pressure, so P1 is approximately P2. Conservation of mass. The mass flow rate Q is equal to V1 times A1 equal to CO times V2 times A2, where CO is the discharge coefficient of the exit area. CO is estimated to be 0.8 for a short protruding tube orifice. A1 and A2 are the circular cross-sectional area of the cylinder at point 0.1 and point 0.2. The velocity at point 2 is V2 is equal to A1 over CO times A2 times the negative change in height over time. The conservation of mechan mechanical energy to the control of volume can be used. In this case, with the assumptions that we've made earlier, a lot can be simplified. Assuming that the flow is incompressible in visit, follow a streamline, and the shaft loss and the head loss are neglected. So then V2 is equal to the square root of 2 times G times H, where G is 9.81 meter per second squared. Combining equations 2 and 5 previously, we get an, an equation for the change in height or the change in time. This is the first order differential equation that in which the variables are separable and can be solved by integration. Giving the t is equal to a1 over co times a2 times the square root of h over the square root of g over 2, where t is the time in second it takes to completely drain a tank with water at height h initially. The following are the references we've used in this experiment. 